In Kaduna State, the Deputy Inspector General of Police, Hafiz Inua, has warned that the police will not fold its arms and watch anyone disrupt the governorship and state assembly election, which have been rescheduled to hold on the 18th of March. He specifically warned that anyone seen carrying arms or snatching ballot boxes will be dealt with by the police. The DIG stated this in Kaduna State after a meeting with party representatives, religious leaders, and critical stakeholders. He called on them to advise their followers to conduct themselves in an orderly manner before, during, and after the election. I want to assure you that additional uh, security men are going to be posted to Kaduna in order to provide the security. We will not allow, and I repeat, we will be ruthless with anybody who decides to test our collective responsibility as a nation. This one, I am telling you, anybody we see carrying arms will be ruthless with that person or those group of people. And anybody who tries to do that, then he will have himself All right, uh, let's uh, get to Kaduna, where our correspondent Lupe Assum joins me now for updates on the situation there. Lupe, quickly give us a sense of what the security situation is, uh, stemming from what uh, the DIG has said, and also how people are reacting to the postponement of uh, the governorship election. I must let our viewers know that the government is getting Central election here in Kodunasi, you can see that uh, it was, it, the environment is getting very tense. The margin is very uh, little between the PGP and the APC. So of course, all political parties went back to the drawing board. They intensified their campaigns. They reached out to some of the communities where they lost, and they also reached out to some of the communities where they did well. And I can tell you that the environment was getting a little bit tense. Of course, there were concerns that uh, some messages coming out from religious houses, we're also capable of inciting the people to even, uh, or trying to heat up the policy on duty. So the commissioner of police, uh, the, the, the DIG of police, kept in time to engage with these stakeholders, engage with religious leaders, engage with political party representatives, calling on them to warn their followers or encourage their followers to stay away from from habits or uh, attitudes capable of heating up the policy and causing violence. So in his message, he said, look, the police is going to deal ruthlessly with anyone carrying arms. We asked him if there's going to be more, more deployment. He said, of course, that was already done. Recall that for the presidential election, over 16,000 police personnel were deployed to Kazimashi. But then we spoke to the DIG yesterday, and although he didn't give us the exact figure, but he said additional police personnel were deployed to Kaduna to ensure that the, 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 the outcome of the, 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 the governorship and state assembly elections are very, very positive. So that is, of course, people were a little bit disappointed that the elections were postponed. Even the political parties, the postponement has brought a little disruption to their plans. They had reached out to several communities, and a lot of them were prepared for today. I spoke to a couple of people who uh, who, who said they were, they were actually destroyed, but of course there were another group of people who felt uh, if the postponement uh, of this election is going to bring about free and fair elections, then they felt that the welcome idea, but that's the situation. It's a misreaction actually. There are those who feel the election shouldn't have been postponed, and there are those who feel if the INEC leaders postpone the election to reconfigure these previous machines to ensure a free and fair election, then they say it's a welcome development. So that's the All right, thank you, Lupe, for that update.